What's poppin' butterflies? It's your girl Alexis Lene here with another Bookworm Wednesday video! And today I'm very, very excited about this video. It's gonna be a quick video. I'm not gonna keep you here for a long time, but I'm very, very excited to talk about this book right here behind me called Rewire for Wealth by Barbara Hewson. And I'm very excited to be presenting this book to you because not only do I love self-help books, but I love self-help books that help you financially. And I also very much appreciate uh, Barbara Hewson and her team for allowing me to get an advanced copy of this book. So if that doesn't tell you enough of how excited I am about financial well-being and self-help books in general, then you must not have been paying attention but if you're still here, that means you're interested in learning more about this book, what it gives you, and its information. So stay tuned. Let's get started. folks before we get started of course I have to remind you to subscribe like and comment on this video let me know you're here let me know you're engaged because I am very happy that you're watching this video regardless so today's book is called rewire for wealth three steps any woman can take to program her brain for financial success by Barbara Houston now like I said before, I love me a good financial literacy book, especially if it's helping women because women historically, we aren't taught about financial management when we aren't truly encouraged to save our money, make more money. You know, women are already, we don't make as much as our male counterparts regardless. So the money that we do get, we need to learn how to make it work for us. And the thing that I really, really like the most about this book is that it takes a different perspective on your relationship with money and that is through your brain so rewiring for wealth is about rewiring your brain on how you think about money your experiences with money and how you can tweak your brain which is a muscle it grows it moves but you can tweak your brain into thinking about money in a more positive way and the more you think about money in a positive way a better attitude you have towards money a better relationship you'll have with money and more abundance you'll receive so that's one thing that's a great approach and it's based in research it's based in psychology so Houston isn't just saying hey this is what you do to rewire your brain no she's saying scientifically this is what you can do. And what I like about the book is that it takes you through different activities. So it's different steps, different phases. This is not a book that you can just read in a couple of days and say, okay, I rewired my brain. No, this book takes dedication. It takes time. I read the book completely through, but I'm currently like around here because I decided to go through, take the notes for myself, not just as a book reviewer. And when I tell you, it's interesting reading this as a young adult because I am just now starting, you know, uh, to establish a real relationship with money. I'm starting my career. I'm starting to pay bills on my own and a lot of these different things. And so reading a book like this as a young adult is preparing me for things that could come later on. It's preempting me to have a better relationship with money instead of having a negative relationship with money and then having to train myself how to have a positive relationship with money. So if you're a young adult and you want to learn about money management, if you want to learn how to have a good relationship with money, because even in my early 20s, even in your early 20s, we've all had different experiences with money, whether it's from how our our families and our parents and guardians handled money to where we were situated financially when we were growing up to your financial experiences in college do you have a lot of debt coming out of college do you have a lot of debt while you're still in college those different things I think it's really great to read this book because you can begin to understand your feelings about money so that by the time you get in my position or you get in your late 20s early 30s and 40s you have a better relationship with money and you are not going back trying to figure it out but you are being active about it and you are acting on it so honestly highly 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 recommend this book I think it has a lot of great knowledge a lot of great information and this is like I said this is not a book that you can just read really quickly this is not a book that you can just say okay boom just 
gonna breeze through it no you're gonna miss the point this is a book that you're gonna constantly pick up if you are serious about your financial wellness you will constantly pick this book up so i appreciate Barbara Houston again and her team for allowing me to review this book and get an early copy of it. This book is sold everywhere but of course I will leave the Amazon link below. Uh, duh! But anyways thank you all so much for watching this video again and make sure you subscribe, like, and comment and follow me on my Instagram at Alexis Lene and also follow Books and booze llc on instagram as well that information is also in the description anyways thank you all so much for another wonderful bookworm wednesday i will see you all next week peace